David here with Fig Boot on pens, back again with another fountain pen review. Over the last year, one of my favorite pens I added to my collection was a pen from a company which was new to me by the name of Kilk. And that pen was the Celestial. This is what it looks like here. And there is a lot that I loved about this pen. Uh, today, I have for you the latest release from Kilk, and that would be the Orient. What I'm going to do today is go over the parts and features of the Orient, talk about what I care for and what I don't care for about it. I'll show some measurements, size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. Thanks go out to Kilk and one of their North American retail partners, Gold Spot Pens, for providing this pen for review. Uh, Kilk describes themselves as a boutique pen making company. Uh, they are based out of Istanbul, Turkey. Uh, their company began as an art studio back in 2012, which the man behind the brand, a gentleman by the name of Olch, established with a few traditional artisans. Uh, Olch decided to start making pens in the corner of the art studio. Uh, at that time, there was no professional pen makers in the area. Uh, Olch's creations began to receive some praise, and the Kilk brand was born. Uh, Kilk actually means writing instrument in Ottoman Turkish. The pen arrives in this box. Um, the sleeves have some nice orange stripes giving you a hint of what might be inside. Uh, that slides off and then we have a box with the Kilk logo. Um, I like the company logo. It has a lot of symmetry to it. I mentioned this in the Celestial review, but when I first saw this logo, I thought the company had made a, like a stylistic choice to reverse the K in order for it to have that nice symmetrical look, but that's not the case. Uh, the word is Ottoman Turkish, and in that Arabic alphabet, the K at the beginning is actually facing the correct direction. Uh, the direction of the letters can be reversed depending on the preceding or following letter. Um, in order for the writing to kind of flow better. So it's actually the K at the end of this word which is actually reversed. You know, I like learning little details like that. I find those to be interesting. Okay, enough about a logo. What's more important is what is inside this box. Um, we have a use and care guide as well as some warranty information. Uh, then there is a polishing cloth, which is included, which is nice since this pen contains a fair amount of sterling silver. And then we have the pen. This is the Kilk Orient. Uh, the pen is made from an orange acrylic resin and the aforementioned sterling silver trim. Uh, in regard to the resin, it has some really nice variants to it with a large number of uh, kind of pearlescent swaths. The full name of the pen is Ex Oriente Lucasa, which in Latin means light from the east. Uh, as the light hits this material, it really brings it to life. Um, let's take a look at the top of the cap. Uh, it is flat. Uh, and then there is an extended portion of the cap before the silver clip band. And then there's the clip. Uh, the sterling silver on this pen has more of a muted look to it, almost a matte look, as opposed to a highly shined silver. Um, it doesn't look like it would be, but the tip of this clip is rather sharp, uh, just sharper than you think it should be. Uh, and then on the underside of the clip, it is stamped with 925K, signifying the sterling silver. The cap angles up until about the halfway point of the clip, and then it straightens out. Um, there is no cap band or exterior branding or engraving on this pen. Uh, at the end of the cap, there is a fairly large step down to the barrel, which begins with one of my favorite features of this pen, which is the silver band. Um, I guess you could look at this design in a couple of different ways. Uh, one way, it looks like a repeating pattern of a flower. Uh, or if you look at it more in the negative space, it looks like a bunch of like stylized triangles. Either way, I care for the design. Um, every Kilk pen that I have reviewed has an amazing band on it. Um, I have another one of their pens which will be reviewed in the near future that has a cool band as well. I'll show you that model during the size comparisons. The barrel tapers down at a fairly steep angle to a rather narrow end. It does straighten out in the last half inch or so and then the end of the barrel is flat. The cap twists off in one and a half rotations, and underneath we have a Bach number six stainless steel nib. A Bach calls this their 250 nib. It is engraved with the Kilk logo and is available in extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and double broad. And here's a look at the plastic feed.
The section begins with a flare before angling up to a small step up to the threads. Uh, I find the Orient to be comfortable in the hand. The barrel really angles up to the band, which is the thickest portion before tapering down. And that middle thicker section of the pen for me resides in the gap between my grip and palm. The cap does post and it does post securely. With the way this cap posts, it does have a bit of the mushroom look to it that I'm not particularly fond of. Um, while it does post deeply, there is no actual contact with the barrel at this forward portion. Um, it's kind of hovering there. Um, it's the flattened portion of the barrel that is inserted into the back portion of the cap. So sometimes you kind of need to fidget with it a bit in order to get the two parts to line up. Um, it's more secure than I would have thought it would be. If you push on this forward portion that's not making contact with the barrel, um, you don't dislodge the cap. So the design does a good job of keeping the cap posted. Um, while in the hand, I do find the edge of this cap to be a bit sharp. Uh, not super sharp, just sharper than I would like. So for me, that rubs against the inside of my hand. Uh, it's a little uncomfortable for me, so I prefer to use this pen unposted. Uh, this is a cartridge converter pen. It accepts standard international cartridges and a converter is provided. Um, with the metal contained here in the section, eye dropping this pen would not be recommended. Um, overall, the quality and craftsmanship of every Kilk pen that I have tested has been outstanding. Uh, they are just really solid, well-made pens. The price for the Orient is $260 and is available directly from the Kilk website as well as a number of US retailers. Uh, I feel that that's a reasonable price for this pen. Uh, the resin looks great. Uh, the build quality is outstanding. And as you will see in the writing sample, it performs very nicely as well. Uh, so far, both of the Kilk pens I have reviewed had been outstanding. Uh, it's a brand well worth checking out. Okay, now it is time for some measurements size comparisons, and a writing sample. Here we go with some size comparisons for the Kilk Orient. I just really think that when the light hits this material, it really brings it to life. It's kind of cool. Um, here it is with a Twisby Diamond 580. And then in regard to a couple of Kilk pens, uh, here it is with the Celestial that I've been raving about that I just really love. And then there is a Kilk pen that I will be reviewing here in the near future. And this one is the Camera Laterna. This is a film themed pen with quite possibly one of my favorite finials of all time. It is a film reel. And as you can see, you can spin it here. Uh, and the mechanism in here is really well done because you can see that it just spins for a very long time. Uh, and it looks just like a film reel spinning. It's just a really cool pen that I can't wait to uh, share more with you about. But this is what it looks like in comparison to the Orient as well as the other pens here. And in regard to some other orange pens, here it is with a Conklin All-American. Uh, and then here it is with a Diplomat Arrow. And then finally here it is with a Delta Dolce Vita Oro. In regard to uncapped comparisons, this is what it looks like with the Celestial and the Delta and the Diplomat. So here we go with the writing sample for the Kilk Orient. And this is a medium stainless steel nib. Uh, and I thought it was only appropriate to use an orange ink with this orange pen. And one of my favorite orange inks is Leonardo. And that is Arancio Tarocco. This is what the color looks like. It's a nice saturated, vibrant orange. Um, also, some of my other favorite vibrant oranges are the Ackerman Orange Bovin, uh, as well as Mont Blanc's Lucky Orange. 
This is what the Leonardo ink bottles look like. Nice wide neck so you can get just about any nib in there. And here we go with the rest of the writing sample. Um, I do care for this Bach nib. Um, it is a bit on the stiff side. Uh, you're not going to get a lot of line variation out of this. Um, the ink flow, I'd say, is medium. Let's see how it tests out. Yeah, a bit on the medium to low side uh, in regard to some reverse writing. It works fairly well. And in regard to some fast writing... The feet keeps up just fine. So here we have the Kilk Orient. Uh, as I mentioned in the review, I've been very impressed with the two pens that I've reviewed from Kilk. Uh, if you are looking to add something new and different to your collection, then this is something that I would definitely want to take a look at. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.